What I'd like to talk about is a Jeff Banks shirt. Now, a lot of people think a shirt is a shirt is a shirt, but a Jeff Banks shirt is full of little hidden secrets. And the first of these is the fabric that it's actually manufactured in. Now, this fabric, which is incredibly soft, I'm just gonna take a lump of it out of the shirt. Now, this fabric is incredibly soft. And the reason for it is that it's actually been put through a liquid ammonia bath at minus 50 degrees centigrade. And what liquid ammonia does is, if you can imagine a fibre of cotton looks like a man's hairy leg, and if you actually put it through liquid ammonia at minus 50 degrees, it freezes all the hairiness off the yarn. So this becomes very smooth. If you look on the reverse side of this fabric, you will see that there are lots of tiny little threads which are left at a loose ends. And what has happened with this fabric is that when it's woven, these little white yarns loop across to one another to create the pattern on the front side of these tiny little spots. And what happens is that by hand, all of these loops are trimmed off literally one at a time. So this whole shirt, the effect of this little spotted effect, is created by lots of hand trimming on the reverse side of it. The next important thing about a Jeff Banks shirt is the collar. So let's look inside the collar and see what is so special about this. Now what I'm going to do is just cut the collar off here. Steady on there, Chris. And what is interesting about this collar, when you open it up, there are two layers of interlining. And you can see when I separate them there, one layer of interlining is stuck onto the back of the fabric, and the grain of this interlining runs this way and this way. This second layer which is each individually applied by hand, runs diagonally, which allows the collar, when it bends round the neck, to bend easily. So there are two layers of interlining in each of the collars. Now, when that is joined onto the collar here, that second interlining stops short, so there's just one layer at this point that doesn't make it too thick, which allows the collar to bend over the neck stand easily and leave enough room for the tie to go through. So this very delicate edge on the edge of the collar is critically important. The next feature is when I open up in here, and I'm going to open this sleeve up here, And I'm going to get this little device here, which is called a quick unpick. And I'm going to insert this into the seam. And I'm going to slip this along here. And in here, when you look inside here, there, attached to this seam, is an interlining, which is all individually put on by hand. So that stops this seam from actually puckering. So when it's washed and laundered, the shoulders always remain the same. Then on the back here, the other critical factor is you can see here that there's a seam that runs up through the back of the yoke. And the reason for that is that this fabric is cut slightly diagonally, so it follows the line of the shoulder. That's called a split back yoke. And that splitting means that the grain of the fabric is following a man's shoulder, which means that the fit is absolutely perfect. If you turn around again, when you look on the inside of the shirt, in here, you will see that on the inside, that what we have is a split through the yoke here and bias cutting on the inside of the yoke of this shirt. And not only is this bias cut, but the actual stripes in the shirt match identically one to the other, so you get a perfect chevron pattern on the inside of the collar. 
And the same goes for the cuff. If I open up the cuff, in here we have diagonal chevroning on the inside of the cuff and tiny pick stitching, which is actually an added detail if you wear the cuffs open. All of that makes up the secret ingredients of a Jeff Banks shirt.